Ciao Globetrotter, good evening everyone, benvenuti in Sardegna. So thank you all for accepting our invitation, thanks to be here, and welcome to this beautiful place. Welcome to this beautiful island, Sardegna. It's a unique place with uh, amazing hotels like this, with the nice people and beautiful roads. I'm sure with uh, this fantastic landscape, and exciting road and off-road tomorrow you will really enjoy our new Ducati Multistrada 1200 Enduro. So thank you very much to all of you and uh, I don't want to take your time anymore so it's a with pleasure I will introduce you Andrea Buzzoni, it's our Global and Sales Marketing Director for an official welcome. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. That's it. Welcome also from my side. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for coming in this beautiful uh, country. Uh, for me, it's the first occasion since I joined uh, Ducati Company one year ago to meet uh, the press people. So uh, I see here a lot of old friends, but also many new friends coming from uh, from UK. Um, Ducati is closed in 2015, an incredible year where we could uh, reach almost 55,000 units sold to end users. We could uh, reach uh, also a turnover uh, uh, and profit uh, uh, record together with the market share and all the information that you probably already got from, from our side. But for me to mention these results uh, is not a matter of showing the mask of the company, but uh, it is more a matter of uh, uh, giving you, let's say, the idea of how we are becoming stronger and more robust uh, in the past. This is an important information because what allow us uh, really to invest with the maximum speed uh, as never in the past in travel back. We believe that Ducati is a company with a peculiar talent to create bikes that make, that, that, that make people dream about them around, uh, around the world. And uh, with this new robustness that we are increasing uh, day by day, we can really deliver more and more uh, this message uh, to you and to our customer uh, the product range development we have seen in 2015, uh, it was really uh, spectacular. We entered new, uh, new territories, new, with new products. Uh, we even launched a new, a new brand, uh, as you know, the Scrambler Ducati brand. 2016, as you know, is also full of uh, exciting uh, news, both in, uh, let's say, uh, segment where we are traditionally present, but also in new segment where we were not uh, present uh, in, in the past. And today, of course, uh, the Multistrada Enduro is one of these bikes where we are going to propose our interpretation of a new segment where we want to explore uh, a new, let's say, uh, way to ride the bike. Uh, in this case, uh, we are talking about uh, a Globetrotter approach by Ducati. Multistrada probably uh, it doesn't help you to understand how much this bike is different from everything that we did in the past. In fact, as you will learn uh, later, uh, this bike has been designed, uh, projected, tested in a completely new way in order to meet the requirement of this target group, which is a target group very much uh, important and uh, with a lot of, let's say, special features they need uh, on this bike. So, I would hand over to my, to my colleagues uh, for the rest of the presentation where you could learn about all the contents related to this fantastic product. Valentini e Federico, please join me on stage. Thank you very much. Hello. Good evening, everybody. My name is Federico Valentini, and I'm the product manager of the Multistrada model range. It's a pleasure for me to be presenting the uh, Multistrada 1200 Enduro this evening. Um, with this model, Ducati breaks with the past, and for the first time, offers a motorcycle in the adventure sector motorcycle that combines traditional values of Ducati in uh, terms of performance and technology together with long-range touring capability and true off-road ability. We are igniting the desire of adventure uh, with those who truly dream of reaching remote locations without worrying about the uh, long distances or the type of terrain they might encounter. The Multistrada 1200 Enduro has exceptional long-range touring capabilities thanks to the 30-liter fuel tank 
which extends uh, the distance between fuel stops. In order to cover these long distances, comfort is obviously a key feature, um, and therefore we've carefully designed the ergonomics to ma guarantee maximum comfort for rider and passenger. Safety is also uh, extremely important, and the Multistrada 1200 Enduro has a complete package of electronic uh, rider aids that guarantee and safeguard the, the rider in all weather conditions and on all terrain. Some of you may have seen the videos we've been posting over the last few months uh, depicting the Multistrada 1200 Enduro on off-road terrain and uh, also on motocross tracks. We've put it through ex extremely difficult testing phases in order to guarantee maximum resilience and to give the rider peace of mind and uh, to enable him to uh, confidently tackle any terrain he encounters on his long trips. So as Andrea was saying, the Multistrada 1200 Enduro is targeted at the globe trotters, the adventurers, the travelers that wish to uh, undertake these long journeys either by themselves or with uh, passenger uh, and uh, luggage, safe in the knowledge that the bike can actually do true off-road terrain. Talking about the versatility of the Multistrada 1200 Enduro, we've uh, carried over the four bikes into one concept of the existing Multistrada 1200. And as you can see, the accessory pack, the Touring Enduro Sport and Urban Packs are carried over from the current 1200 Multistrada. However, each one of these packs has components specifically uh, developed together with partners that are famous manufacturers in the adventure motorcycle segment, such as Touratech. And as you can see, the uh, aluminum panniers, the Touratech handlebar bag, which is useful <coughs> to keep your documents or a phone or sunglasses close at hand and also heated grips that increase <coughs> comfort on long journeys. The Enduro pack that protects the bike in uh, extreme off-road conditions, such as the TourTech crash bars that protect the uh, gas tank, TourTech oil and radiator protectors that you see in the pictures, fog lights, and also the chain guide and brake disc, which are typical of motocross or Enduro motorcycles. The sport pack, because obviously being a Ducati, it also has a sport so. So we've developed together with Dermignoni a titanium silencer to increase the sports feeling of the bike and brake and block <coughs> reservoirs uh, made of uh, billet aluminum together with the water pump cover. All of these accessories you'll be able to see on the bikes that are on display outside and here on the Phantom Grey and the Star White Silk models. The Urban Pack, again, an aluminum, aluminum top case developed together with uh, Touratech. Tank bag and locking kit. You can't see the tank bag in this picture. However, it also uh, includes a USB extension to, uh, in order to allow you to charge uh, up to four electronic devices while you're on the go. So summing up the key features of the Multistrada 1200 Enduro, all terrain ability. So what does that mean? Obviously, excellent performance, excellent handling on asphalt, and true off-road ability for the first time. Cutting edge technology in terms of rider aids, but also for comfort, such as cruise control or the Ducati Skyhook suspension that increase comfort and, and safety as well. We've given the bike off-road oriented bodywork, a rugged design, but obviously being a Ducati, it has to also be sleek and stylish. Okay, so before giving my, uh, the microphone over to Edis Avioni, uh, I'd like to show you a video that sort of sums up the all-terrain ability of the Ducati Multistrada 1200 Enduro.
one that uh, you have already seen this bike can achieve um, has become possible. This picture shows how different is the new multistar enduro respect to the, uh, to the system, we say to the multistar 1200. These are the major components which have been specifically developed for the enduro and so they are completely dedicated and makes all the performance and the ability you have seen to be possible. Let's have a look uh, basically to the chassis. So how the chassis of the bike is different uh, and dedicated. I think that this presentation could uh, start from a different point than saying, uh, okay, finally now we have uh, the 19 inches front wheel. Uh, it's something that uh, some of you, most of you have uh, asked us uh, in these years, uh, a number of times. So we finally adopted it, of course, uh, uh, tubeless type aluminum spoked wheels. So 19 the front, 17 inches the rear, with new uh, tire measures, 120, 70 at the front and 170, 60 at the rear. And uh, the most important thing, with two different kind of tire. So we maintain the Tray 2, Scorpion, uh, the Rally Scorpion Tray 2, which keeps uh, already uh, the Multistrada 1200 in these new dedicated uh, measures. And in the same measures, we homologated and tested for all the development of the bike, also with Novi tires, the Pirelli Scorpion Rally. This package leads to a superior riding characteristic uh, on both uh, asphalt and bendy roads on off-road terrain. Pirelli Scorpion Rally is a tire which belongs to uh, off-road segment for Pirelli development. So it's a T speed index, which means it's limited to 190 kph, and it's a mud and snow tire. I repeat, fully homologated, and this leads uh, in a, a specific uh, off-road and door condition to maximum control, optimal traction, and wear resistance. But not only tire and wheels, of course, the suspension are dedicated. We increase the wheel travel of both the front and the rear wheel up to 200 millimeters, so 30 more respect to the Multistar 1200. This allows the possibility to increase even the ground clearance up to 205 millimeters, so 31 millimeters more than the uh, road reactive multi. And these two characteristics makes it possible to achieve at the same time an optimal comfort on long journey, so for during the proper use of the bike, and at the same time, the possibility to confidently overcome any kind of obstacle in off-road condition. At the front end of the bike, we adopted a dedicated uh, fork axle bracket, which increases the offset up uh, uh, to 37 millimeters, so 16 more than the Multistar 1200, summing the offset of the tripod clamp, which remains the same, to the offset given by the uh, fork front axle. Together with a rake of 25 degrees, which has been one degree increased respect to the multi, we reached a, a trail of the front wheel of 110 millimeters, which gives optimal stability to the steel when facing the obstacle in off-road. This, together with the dedicated suspension setting, because as said, we have a dedicated uh, new uh, suspension at the front, also at the rear, but now we are discussing about the fork, uh, and the adoption of the steering damper leads to a complete package that gives uh, really superior on-road and off-road handling in any condition. Let's have a look to the rear. We adopted a new double-sided swing gear, which is longer, stronger, and even stiffer respect uh, to the uh, single-sided swing gear of the uh, Multistar 1200. This led to an increase of the wheelbase up to 1,594 millimeters resulting in an optimal stability on any kind of terrain and at any speed. To complete the rear end uh, description, we also have a new uh, rear hub in the um, spoken wheel, which uh, uh, led us to review the layout, moving the uh, braking disc, which remains 265 millimeter diameter on the right side, and to redesign the support of the braking camera. So to summarize all the major characteristics and difference, in terms of chassis, we recap 25 degree rakes, 19 inches front wheel, and 17 of course the rear with the aluminum tubeless spoked wheels. Increased offset up to 37 total millimeter, 
resulting in a trail of 110. Same front braking discs of uh, multi-stadio trail bundles, so 320 <coughs> millimeter actuated by a couple of uh, radial mounted uh, M4 calipers. Higher ground clearance, 265 millimeter rear brake disc, uh, double-sided swing arm, the two kind uh, of tire tested and homologated, so Pirelli Scorpio Trail 2 and Novi tire, increased with travel, 200 millimeters, and all the package results in a dry weight of 225 kilos. In Rex, uh, we already seen three days, sorry, we already seen 1,594. So, being conscious of all this, uh, the potential of all, of all this package of chassis, uh, we uh, managed the development of the bike in terms of testing in a new way for us because we uh, sum to the conventional kind of test that we do on track and on open roads all the off-roads part of the test. So now we can enjoy a very quick video that gives you just a, an idea of which, which was, which has been the effort in terms of developing of the, of the bike in different conditions. Okay, this chart summarizes this development effort. Uh, On-road testing at the Nardot testing facility in southern Italy, we normally do this every time for every new product. Uh, handling track and uh, accelerated reliability test in the high-speed oval in the ring. We sum up something around uh, 40,000 kilometers only for the Multistar Enduro. Then, of course, testing on public roads. So we accumulated miles over 150,000 kilometers. And then we added all the off-road, heavy off-road, any kind of terrain from the cross track to any kind of terrain in off-road, as, as you have seen from the videos, summing something around 10,000 kilometers. And all this effort was made with the cooperation of our uh, existing Ducati test team, headed by Alessandro Maria, which is with us tonight and will be tomorrow accompany you during the test and also um, <coughs> the contribution of experienced off-road testers, uh, such as Pepe Guarini, that of course will be the tour coordinator tomorrow as well, and all these guys. So we tried really to put together our competencies and uh, the experience of who, who really has uh, in enduro uh, racing experience <coughs> in order to be really uh, concrete in understanding the performance, the potential of the bike. Going back to this chart, you have seen that we have mentioned just some few of the new components, the new dedicated components, because apart from the chassis that we have described, there has been another uh, very important job in trying to put together design and ergonomics. Of course, like Federico said, uh, every new Ducati deserves uh, great attention in terms of design. We want to maintain the, the sleek design that uh, uh, characterizes the Multistrada Trail Bundle. But at the same time, we paid uh, a great attention to, any, to all the ergonomics aspect of the standing riding position and of the uh, comfort for long distance touring. So starting from the front end, we adopted an extended beak in order to underline the character of the bike and to make it directly recognizable at the first sight. And uh, aluminum side panels to protect the wider fuel tank. Then from the cockpit view, you can appreciate an higher handlebar, 50 millimeters more, in order to find a balanced comparison between, one more time, the standing riding position for the Enduro and the very relaxed riding position for the Touring. We maintain the one-handed adjustable screen, which is a key feature of all the Multistrada. We carefully review the geometry of the rear view mirror stands in order to avoid any conflicts between the support of the mirror and your hands when uh, riding standing on the footpex. And of course, we integrated as much as possible the big fuel tank in the silhouette of the bike. In order to get completely the advantage of the increased ground clearance 
we have seen between the Andes Amcar and the terrain, we adopted uh, <coughs> an extended and reinforced uh, ski plate that you can appreciate uh, at the, uh, the back of the room later, which is fixed directly to the frame of the bike, so not to the edge, but to the frame through a couple of aluminum forged uh, mounting plates, which results in a very robust package. Also, uh, all the controls, the fit controls, have been uh, redesigned uh, with great attention to grip ergonomics uh, and uh, endure condition. So we adopted cast steel footpex with a removable rubber insert, so tomorrow you will test the bike on the road with the insert for an optimal vibration insulation, and in off-road without for an optimal grip between the boot and the footpex. Then we, had, uh, uh, we adopted uh, uh, steel gear, gear shift uh, and the rear brake lever, uh, on the left with the folding tip, and on the right with an height adjustable uh, steel brake lever in order to very easily and quickly move it uh, from the enduro to the, uh, let's say, road uh, optimal economic uh, position. Then we designed new rider and passenger seat in order, one more time, uh, to pay attention to the ergonomics of the rider in any condition to put together maximum control and optimal comfort. Also, the mid-section of the bike is new. You have seen the color doesn't flow from the front end to the tail, but we have new side panels below the seat. <coughs> and uh, we decided to adopt a different seat in order to make the bike accessible for any kind of, of rider. So the bike comes OEM with a seat height of uh, eight, 870 millimeters, which corresponds to a, uh, let's say, comfort level, which is the same of the with the standard 1200. Then there is available a low seat of 850 50 millimeters and even an higher one, 890, for the tall rider and for the optimal comfort uh, in enduro condition. Uh, by the way, tomorrow you will have the possibility to, let's say, uh, choose the bike. We will configure the bike uh, uh, half in 870, um, seat height, and half in 850. So, if you want tonight, uh, advising your needs or your preference to Julian Max or tomorrow morning, we will try to, uh, let's say, make you feel at ease uh, in any condition because we have half of the bike in any of the two of the two seat height. Another great job has been made in the tail because we try to re redesign the passenger handle in order to uh, integrate as much as possible the turretic panniers with the tail of the bike trying to achieve uh, the smallest rear width possible, which is finally just 1,020 millimeters. So we developed the bag in uh, close cooperation with the Turatec, and uh, the full capacity of the bag, which are part, as you have seen, of the touring package, uh, is uh, <coughs> 85 liters, 40 uh, from the right one and 45 from the left, which can be increase uh, up to 123, adding also the stock case. Also the exhaust system has been reviewed, installing uh, uh, an iHexit silencer for an optimal fit per fitment of the Turatec uh, panniers, specifically the right one has been uh, possible in this way to <coughs> take it uh, uh, really close to the tail of the bike, have a look to the bike and appreciate how close it is to the passenger handle and also to the muffler. But at the same time, we wanted to increase the weight in depth uh, ability of the bike. And so the high exit muffler gives this uh, possibility. And this figure has been increased uh, up to 478 millimeters. Just to give you an idea, it's 77 more than the with the standard 1200. So to summarize the bodywork session, let's say, 30 liter fuel tank, new mirror stem, aluminum side panels and extended front peak, extended and reinforced skid plate and mounting plates, steel levers, steel footpegs with the removal of rubber insert, high exit uh, silencer, fully new redesigned passenger handle, new seats, both the seats are new, and modified ergonomics of the bodywork. Get the presentation in the press, but in any case, uh, okay. Then the engine. The 
engine is basically the same which keeps the multistata 1200. So uh, the, we may say already well-known 1200 cc uh, PVT, the monodromic variable timing um, engine, Euro 4 compliant already, performing 160 horsepower and delivering 136 newton meter of maximum torque. But in this case, uh, we adopted uh, an off-road oriented gearbox and also a final gear ratio. These are the performance curve that uh, we finally uh, got from the engine. Of course, we made a recalibration work due to the uh, new exhaust, but we also took the opportunity of this recalibration work to optimize the, the calibration of the engine management system and uh, to achieve this uh, regular performance. You see the torque curve, which is uh, uh, almost flat, and uh, the benefits of this uh, recalibration has been also applied uh, to the Multistar 1200 production since November last year. So it's possible also to, uh, let's say, upgrade uh, the bikes on the, on the field uh, very quickly, achieving a performance which is now more or less the same uh, of the Multistar 1200 Enduro that you will test tomorrow. So very strong power delivery from low to mid revs. But to get a, a little bit more in details about uh, uh, the off-road oriented gearbox and the different final gear ratio that I mentioned, in this chart you see the six uh, uh, graphs corresponding to the six uh, uh, gears, uh, which uh, shows uh, in the vertical axis the torque at the wheel, the rear wheel, depending on the vehicle speed. So what you can appreciate uh, on the first uh, uh, graphics top left in the chart is this the new first gear, which is 38 to 14 instead of 37 to 15, so shorter, gives a better drivability of the bike at the low revs, especially in enduro condition, because, for example, at the 2000 RPM, the bike speed is lower, is 16 kph instead of 20. So you can uh, face obstacles and difficulties with the, uh, the same uh, uh, vehicle speed, let's say, with uh, an engine which is revving higher. So it's more stable, more tractable. So it's easy, easier to manage the torque delivery from the engine. But then we also adopted uh, a shorter final gear ratio that uh, is uh, uh, possible to appreciate, the, the effect is possible to appreciate in all the rest, uh, the, all the uh, remaining five diagrams, which shows that in any gear, the multistandard 1200 Enduro has a torque, rear, rear wheel torque advantage respect to the multistandard 1200 at any vehicle speed. Then moving to electronics, as uh, Federico already said, of course we maintained uh, the <coughs> state-of-the-art electronic suite that already keeps the multistandard 1200. So riding and power modes, of course Ducati's Cayuc suspension EVO system, which has been uh, completely recalibrated, dedicated to the Enduro due to the different chassis, of course, as well as the uh, Ducati traction and wheelie control system. We maintained them and we uh, adapted them to the bike. And uh, uh, ABS, cornering ABS, Bosch 9.1 ME system, which allowed us to add uh, a new feature, a new content, which is the vehicle hold control. These devices assist the rider when starting on slopes as steep as 46%. Uh, so it's very easy to engage the system, simply pulling the front brake either or the rear, uh, pressing the rear uh, pedal. Of course, you have to uh, overcome a certain uh, threshold of pressure in order to engage the system. And then it assists you uh, for nine seconds, keeping the bike uh, on hold, let's say, and giving you the time to manage the, the starting maneuver without thinking to the brakes. All the rest of the electronics have been maintained as well. So we have ride-by-wire throttle control, color five inches TRT dashboard, of course, and free ignition system, full LED headlight with the cornering light. So this, the, the situation, let's say the equipment is the same of the Multistada 1200S. The new handlebar switches with the backlight and the cruise control function, which is completely manageable with the, the uh, left uh, control rocker. And thanks to the Bluetooth module, 
we have the connectivity with Ducati Multimedia System and the possibility to link to the bike the Multistrada Link app. This chart recaps quickly which are the default level of the four mode. Of course, you have already understood that uh, with the Multistrada Enduro, we really push to the limit uh, the soul of the four bike in one, which is the, the let's say, uh, the character of the Multistrada 1200 since the first launch in 2010. So, uh, never more than this time if we can really say four bike in one. And so, due to this, we maintain the uh, same uh, default level of every variable which is managed inside the modes with a new specific uh, uh, setting. So tomorrow we will advise you with the, uh, let's say, uh, optimal setting for any portion or any part of the uh, <coughs> test ride that we will do. And of course the possibility remains uh, to customize for the, uh, for the rider any of these parameters in any of the four mode and to uh, save it uh, on your bike. The new Multistar Enduro will be available in three colors, uh, Phantom Grey, Star White Silk and Ducati Red. Tomorrow you will test on the bike, uh, on the road, sorry, the Star White uh, Silk bike with the Touring Pack. And you will test off-road the Phantom Grey bike equipped uh, with a Scorpion Rally. Even because uh, we will deliver a version of this uh, color uh, of the bike uh, with the Touring Pack uh, already equipped from the uh, production, from the company, with the Pirelli Scorpion Rally tires. So it will be really an optional, uh, an available version that the, the customer will be able to choose. Okay, this is just a recap of the technical, uh, technical data of the bike. Of course, uh, you have all this number and even more in the press kit. Uh, it uh, shows how different, even in numbers, not only in components, but even in numbers, the, the Multistar Enduro is with respect to the sister and uh, sums up all the characteristics that you have seen during the presentation. So at this time I just say that uh, the wild side of Ducati has become true.